Hi guys, how are you all? And welcome to this Sunday's challenge with myself and Erica Hughes from Erica Hughes Art. This week we were given the task of doing some sort of abstract painting on a coloured background. And uh, as you can see, I'm not under the stairs like Harry Potter today. I'm in the dining room because I needed a bit of space because I'm gonna do a big one. Ta da! All right, guys, thank you so much for uh, dropping by. Um, today's video, as you can see, is uh, a bit different for me. I'm not uh, stuck underneath the stairs. As I said, I'm back out here in the dining room because I have this bad boy. Do you know what it is? I didn't check the size of that. I think that is, what, one, three, four, 36 by 12, 36 by 12. And, um, I am going to do a video that was completely inspired by the nutty <laughs> Rob Smith from uh, uh, with Saskia Smith. They do videos together on, on Rob's channel and he did a huge feather and um, really inspired me. So I'm gonna have a go with this. Um, the challenge that was put down by the rolling of the dice was a dark, well, a coloured background, I'm going to use a dark background, and some sort of abstract art. So abstract, we're taking it as anything from string to a, a cooking utensil to a, a rock to a hammer, whatever. God knows Rob would be using a drill on it, but anyway, whatever we want, just something slightly abstract. So uh, this is what I'm going for. So I'm going to first paint the edges of this with my lovely colour and then I'll talk to you about the colours. I think I'll speed this up because I know that uh, YouTube doesn't like anything over 15 minutes. So here we go. Now, this lovely colour, what kind of colour is that I hear you ask? Well, it is called uh, Mark Gilday Blue because I have no idea what it is. I got a load and load of uh, paint and I put it in. This is a, a glue and water mix, a 70 to 30, and then uh, paint just thrown in. I just went crazy with the paint. We do have some uh, oxide black from Amsterdam in there. We have some of these paints, and these are from like the dollar store, but I just wanted to get paint in there. Um, we've got some violet, and we have some cayenne blue. I did want a little bit of sparkle, so I put this uh, ice blue from uh, Deco Art, the metallics section, and I do have some phthalo blue from uh, Arteza. So there, everything that went into this. So uh, let's get it on. All right. 
Okay, so next thing is our colors on our rope. Now, don't blush. Paint on the new t-shirt. Means I'll have to get a new one. <laughs> right. Here we go. I've got some white, titanium white from Arteza. Here. I've got glorious gold from Deco Art. Metallics. Uh, copper, Deco Art Metallics. Silver from Arteza. That's really thick, maybe I should. Mm. And this is uh, Oyster Pearl. What do you think? Do we have a lot? Do I have too much paint on here? Should I get rid of it? That's a lot of paint, isn't it? Just getting rid of some of this paint because I think there's a lot on there. All right, all exciting. Exciting, I keep seeing bubbles, they keep popping up for me. And my hands are all full of paint. I gotcha. I gotcha. Okay, so I'm gonna put the paint directly on the rope while we're here. And I'm very, I really want this to look good, I'm all excited. So let's just uh, go for a bit of this. It is done. Now, is this all going to be puzzled? A little, bit of a, a little bit of a twist just to make sure I've got some good paint on. Don't want too much paint on though. Now, where will this live? It is going to live right there. Now, <laughs> that was the easy bit. This is the hard bit. Hmm, I can see. Not it. 
This is string is too. This is gonna be a big feather. Right, I can see what's happened there. That string is too stiff. But that don't mean this is our last. I like it. I really do like it. So let's see what we can get. Let me go the other way. Maybe I have too much paint down as well on the blue. Now the object here is to get back in the same spot. step is to get this down here and try and get my little bit of a, a stem. Oh, I'm dripping. Be careful of that. Ah, oh, dripped on. Oh! It does look lovely. It doesn't look Vivid. I don't have a lot of colour coming through, but I like it. I hope that it dries like that. That's nice. That is nice. I like that. Okay, I gotta work on getting these two drips out of here. I like that. I really hope that that stays. That's beautiful. That's really nice. Right, let's work on getting these two dreams off. effect that I was looking for but I really like it. It's very oh, I don't know how to describe it. Ghostly, wispy. It's beautiful that colour. That uh, blue is fantastic. I'm trying to get a nice look where I'm not getting shines off everything else. That's stunning. I'm very happy with that. Okay guys thank you so much for dropping in and looking again. Drop over to uh, Erica to see how Erica is doing with her Sunday challenge. And of course, go and look at, uh, go for Rob and Saskia Smith for their channels. I'll put them all down below. And um, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Thank you. Good luck. Bye.